Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. So, sadly, I don't have my sister here because obviously she's way better at making YouTube videos than me because, um, I don't even know where she went. She guess just what, guess what, guess what, guess what, I got a beauty dragon. Oh my gosh, another one? I was just about to make it. Guys, guys, I actually don't know where it came from. Look at how tiny. I never even knew that you got one. Are you kidding Look me? Her. No, just kidding, guys. We, we, we planned all this some information about keeping these guys um all you need to know is i would recommend you're gonna put two in a cage i put her in about two months ago and then i put a cisco about uh i just put her in because i just got her today but so if you're gonna buy two beater dragons um you have to buy them at the same time because they are very territorial animal animals only to uh, each other Okay, so I'm going to be talking about food and feeding them. So there are a bunch of different um, options. Uh, the thing that we love to feed them the most is crickets because they really love that. Keep in mind, you do have to feed the crickets. So we just have these like cube things and it has everything that they need. And you do have to cover their any like live food it's in calcium so that they get their whole diet. Um, also, having backup food is very important to feed them mealworms. Um, now, do keep in mind, you should not feed them mealworms if they are younger. Wait until, until they are older to feed them mealworms. So, yeah, it's very important to have backup food, calcium, food for your food. And if you run out of all your options and it's just very last, not last minute, but like it's very urgent, you can feed them like either carrots or or lettuce, but make sure that you get their regular food back in um, back in stock so that they get all their nutrients. So make sure when they are younger to only feed them two to three cookies a day. So the little one that we have just gotten today is still very young. So make sure to only feed it like two to three crickets a day. Maybe if it's getting a little older, feed it like four to five. So with Elliot, the older one, who we have had for two months, we feed it um five to seven or five to ten crickets a day um make sure not to feed it too much or else it will get a little overweight um like pretty sure all animals can as it gets older you will start needing to feed them more um i think when they start getting older like they can live up to 10 years old so as they get older um as they become years old you might want to start feeding them like 12 or 13 crickets a day, but that is very, a lot of money, so maybe not, I don't really. <laughs> so there's, um, I think four different ways that you can bathe them. Three or four. So yeah, three or four. So first, the uh, first way, you can keep a shallow dish in their um, cage the, or bottle cap. Make sure that there isn't too much water in their cage or else the heat lamp will make it evaporate and it'll make their cage uh, very humid, which is not good for the um, bearded dragons because they live in the desert. They come from the desert in Australia. So keep that in mind. Uh, the second way, you can run them under a hot faucet. Not you too hot. Um, or you can bathe with them. You can also spray them. Um, that is a very good way. So now we're going to talk about um, their cage, how to set it up, some things that you definitely need, and some things that you don't need, but they're going to be helpful. So the first thing is a must need is the light. But you can't have them dangling. You, it's a must need. You have them have to have as close to the beer dragon. It's not like that, but like you have to have them on the screen. Um, they need night lights. Be, um, it's just a red light. Um, yeah, so at night you will turn this off and turn this on, which is not really it. Sorry guys. Um, so basically what you must need for your cage first is like something that they can like kind of like hang out on. Actually a must need is a hideout. This is for like, say like you're not feeling well, you're kind of like, you would go to your bed and like, oh, come on man, I've lost my baseball game. So, um... You kind of want to go and hide out, but, um, yeah, so that's something that is a must-need, but for what would be really, really helpful in the future is 
right there. You don't need this, but it's so helpful. A little water tank. Every night before they go to sleep, they'll jump in the water tank, kind of like splash around, and then they'll go into bed. And they're very serious about their bed. I don't know why. <laughs> like, okay. So now so, we are done with the video. We have just briefly covered everything that you need to know about mm, having a bearded dragon. Cute. And also, we also got a new bearded dragon. So I hope that we hope that you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. And guys, subscribe. We want you to get a bearded dragon right, well, not right now, but in the past. If you want. If you want. <laughs> in the they're future. great pets. We're trying to just reel you in. So yeah, bye bye. bye. And we're not sponsored. Bye. Yeah.